presidents won Bell hey, I, I'm going to one up Mayo Monkey and say we would have condo, condos on Mars. <laughs> and Jupiter. Residents in one Bel Air neighborhood are livid that no arrests have been made after a shootout that sent bullets flying last Saturday night. ABC 13's Maya Shea obtained surveillance video of the shootout today. She joins us live from the newsroom with the neighbors' frustrations, and it's a story you'll only see on 13, Maya. Yeah, neighbors tell me they've been complaining about a specific house in Bel Air for a year and that the shooting that happened over the weekend started with a confrontation in front of that specific house. They're now demanding that their police department and their city leaders do something. You can hear the gunfire, then see a white car passing, then a blue car chasing behind. Bel Air police confirms. The incident began in front of this home. Look at this. There's no solutions, man. The one, <laughs> no bro. Uh, I would be pissed. It's literally named Bel Air. The fucking Fresh Prince of Bel Air and shit. This is literally. And that's got to be a $500 house. $500,000 house. It's embarrassing. Home on Mary Lane. Saturday night about 7.30, we got multiple 911 calls of, of shooting going on, happening down um, Newcastle, just, just south of Bel Air. Uh, once we get out there, we did, did our investigation and determined that all of this originated at a res residence on Mary Lane. Miraculously, nobody was hurt in the shootout. These apes, man. But this resident drove right through it. My car was shot. Because nobody can aim. With my child in the front seat, 12 inches from my head. That's why she and a dozen other residents showed up at City Hall Monday night. They point out that neighbors have complained about this home on Mary Lane for a year, and yet they feel like police have taken no substantial action. My children. Literally, Bel Air. Like police have taken no Bel substantial Air. action because they can't catch anybody in the act. Unbelievable. And son say the police always sweating us, man. We getting a raw deal from the police, man. Substantial action. My children bike to their neighborhood schools, and I'm scared that they will get hit by one of the speeding customer cars or worse, get shot by a stray bullet. Bel Air police insist they are investigating. They confirmed that the house on Mary Lane is owned by the same people who run a marijuana dispensary on Rinwick, which was raided just this past February. Neither that raid nor this shootout so far have yielded in any arrests. Unfortunately, these kind of investigations just take time because, like I said, when these things don't happen out in the open, they're not, you know, you don't see it happening. It's difficult to, to take action. But neighbors say they have been very patient. And after the shooting on Saturday, their patience is running out. It's the responsibility of the city and the law enforcement, whether it's... To get know, these niggas up out of our little town, man. Just Bel Air. And you can tell this is a white town. No sisters on the city council. Look at that city council. It breaks your heart. Whether it's, you know, just Bel Air or multiple agencies whatsoever. But this needs to be fixed. You can certainly hear the frustration in these homeowners. One voice. home. Sons didn't move in by the hundreds. This isn't like an infestation. This is one house. And the whole fucking city is ruined. It's, it's All it takes is one roach, right? That's all it takes. It's poverty. I mean, it's impressive if you think about it. Yeah, man. It's very impressive, man. You got to tip your hat to it, man. Like, damn, yo. It, it definitely. Because I know. <laughs> no. The town that I work at, it, it's, it's sort of like that, man. Like, it's, it's a lot of sons that live out there, and they ruined that. It's like big historical houses. And, they ruined it. Uh, and I think, what's the name from there, too? Uh, George Clinton. So wait, they oh, ruined that area. Wait, so you, yeah. the place you're talking about has expensive houses? And oh, yeah, yeah. Plainfield? 
Yeah, Plainfield. Yeah, some some. Well, there's still some outskirts where it's million dollar houses. They took they took Ock advice. They didn't send their kids to uh yeah. to uh Sun schools. So, so what like, stands that they ruined it though? Like what ex what did what do you mean? Certain, certain I because some of the some of the gladders left, and obviously you know Suns ain't going <laughs> to maintain big old historical houses like that, and it becomes abandoned. It becomes littering, and it's just it becomes. It becomes bad, but the side there is one side that gliders do live in, and they take our advice. Don't take your kids to sun schools and UBI. Right. Yeah, listen, man, it doesn't take many of us, man. It's just like one house. That's all it takes. And the shocking thing is, you would think it would be like a mammy with like eight kids, but this is just a couple of sun men, man. 